Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another video of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Drift Waves in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending their system. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So, subscribe, it should already be here. There it is, the Athena system 1.0. Right, let's see what they have prepared for us. Okay, here we go. Please note this is my first system, it may look basic. The system is unstable, so please keep it paused. The Athena system, year 2805. Okay, 2805. Awesome. So, star itself. Main star of the system is a G type star around two times the size of the Sun. It's approximately 547 million light years away from the Sun. It's home to some crazy wacky worlds, including worlds or moons with oceans of liquid nitrogen, oceans of liquid oxygen, and so on. Nice. First of the planets, we've got Belus here. Nice. It's a hot scorched planet that has two moons named Booman and Benham. Uh, the moons are orbiting the exact opposite size of themselves and scientists can't figure out how this rare phenomenon can happen. Belus orbit is also quite strange as it is tilted and slightly elliptical. There's the two moons on opposite ends of each other. Nice. Cool. And you see that tilted orbit there. Nice. Next up we've got Solarian. It's a second planet from Athena. It has a thick, cloudy atmosphere, including carbon dioxide and nitrogen. It has a strange, bumpy surface texture that pops out from all other planets. Okay, let's have a look underneath. Anything to see? Oh, yeah, I can see that, yeah. Ah! It's a weird thing to see with the liquid on it, I think. Nice. With the small boiling moon at lava streams flowing across it, the lava can be viewed from the dark side. Nice. Cool. Alright, there you go, there's those guys. Next up we've got Aphrodite. It's a third planet in the Athena system. It has shallow oceans of pure liquid methane in the Earth-like atmosphere containing methane too. NASA has sent an orbital probe to Aphrodite named AOP, Aphrodite Orbital Probe. There it is. See the probe down there? Looking good. Nice. Next up we've got Morbus. The only moon. Nothing really special about the moon except it's made out of 100% silicate. Okie dokie. There you go. Next up we've got Lust. Here it is. The fourth planet from Athena and is home to an alien civilization that is about the same age, age as Earth's. Lust is about three times the mass of Earth and has a small beautiful ring system that really stands out. Very nice. There it is. Okay. Got, there's a probe there as well. Then we've got Dio. Hattle Moon orbiting around Lustin is colonised by the Lustin civilization. It's most known to be a twin of Lust. There you go. Quite a far distance from the parent planet though. That's a lot bigger than the Earth and Moon gap by the looks of things. Let's have a look at the... Uh... Let's have a look. So three, so three years to orbit. Remember, the Moon's about a month. 28, 29 days, isn't it? This guy's 3.6 years. That is a huge orbit around the parent planet. Wow, wee, that's a massive distance. I'm mistaken them ages to get there. Okay. Next up, we got this one. Kyome over here. It's a very cold super earth with a thick atmosphere that's blocking the light from reaching the surface. The planet is covered with nitrogen, ice, and snow. It has no moons. There it is underneath. Nice. Then we have Rex. Is the next one out? Where is that? There it is. First world planet of the Athena system, Rex's orbit is very tilted and elliptical, kind of like Belus. Rex has an asteroid moon named Junu following the small ring of Rex. Okay. There it is. Nice. Next I went to Atlas over here. Oh, this is Atlas, but it says Altas there. It's just got the letters the wrong way around. We'll go with Atlas. So... Okay, cool. So, Atlas, the first gas giant of the system, and a mass of four Jupiters. It has its own moons. It's very uh, magenta pinky colour. We've got Minu. It's always to move ice crystals that illuminate at night. Got a city light effect. Very nice. I like that on the asteroids. It does look good. Uh, then we've got the Atlas and Atlas probe there. Next moon out, we're heading to this one. A dark, scorched looking moon with deep caverns of valuable ores. NASA is found to send a land to mine these ores in the next 50 years. Nice. We got Hera. 
heavily crated major moon with a thin atmosphere loaded with carbon dioxide that makes it too hot for living conditions. And then lastly, we've got Aeros over here. A major move in the atmosphere including nitrogen and carbon dioxide. It used to have life around 5,000 years ago until the atmosphere got ripped off by Atlas. That's the gas giant getting involved as well. Okay. There you are. There's all of those guys. Next up to this one. Heracles here. The second gas giant in the Athena system is inspired by the real Jupiter system. Okay. Got a ring system. First moon here. A small moon with a thick acid atmosphere containing sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. So there's your IO equivalent. Nice. Got a Lemper over here. There's Europa. The second moon from the Her 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 Ladies up uh, Heris leads and has a deep ocean that is hidden from a thick sheet of ice covering the entire surface. Then we've got Gruntium. Right here. Oh yeah. Big crater. Third moon and has a huge crater filled with liquid nitrogen. It was hit by another moon that contained loads of nitrogen. Some stayed the liquid while some dissolved into the atmosphere. Okay, nice. Nice to have a big custom crater there, that's cool. And then next up, we've got Turi over here, the last moon. There's a thin ring system around the planet matching it. Okay, nice. That's your Callisto lookalike. Ganymede one, though, is definitely the standout with that big crater. Next up, we've got Eve here. Evie. Third gas giant in the system has beautiful yellow cyan bands with a double ring system, making it one of the most unique and beautiful objects in the simulation. Lovely. Double ring system. We're seeing that as quite a big trend at the moment, actually. A lot of people are doing double ring systems. It's quite good, actually. I rate it. It's always, always good to see some different ideas in there. And yeah, it, it's the mark, I think. It looks great. Very, very nice. Okay, moving on. Right. Yep, so we did that one. Next up, we've got Mus. First moon from Eve. Mus matched the yellow sign colours with Eve and has a beautiful. Well, has a yellow atmosphere, sorry. Cool. Nice. We've got uh, Berissia here. Just like Mus, the yellow sign colours have been swapped around, has a blue atmosphere. Nice. And then we got this one Maghreb. Titanite world with a two-toned atmosphere. Underneath, there you go. It's like a series look-alike. Okay, nice. Next up, we've got Poseidon. It's a beautiful ice shrine with blue-purple bands stretched from top to bottom of the planet. Poseidon also has a thin ring system. Over here, we've got Cupid. First moon of Poseidon gets its name from its pink appearance on a heart-shaped mountain on the surface. Hey! <laughs> Cupid also orbits at a 90 degree angle. Love heart moon. Helios. A large major moon with cold oceans and liquid oxygen thrown around the object. Helios also has a pure oxygen atmosphere. It would also be good to live there, but there are frigid temperatures make it possible for living. It has illuminating oxygen crystals on the dark side of the moon. There you go. Nice. This has a thing as well. What's this? Another probe. Nice. They're looking a big jump. We've got Tagu over here. What is this? Okay. A small dwarf planet with a very elliptical orbit. It made from 87% gold and is very, very, very valuable. NASA has sent a scanner probe to Tagu and its moon. So we've got Tagu and Ragu. <laughs> There's the probes. There's that ragu. There you go. It's the only moon of Tagu, and it's also filled to brim of pure gold. Nice. Thank you for checking out my system. I really appreciate it because I worked on it until 2 a.m. Well, there you go. I enjoyed it. Hope you did as well. Hope you enjoyed watching my little review of it. So there you go. Very nice. And that does it for this system, everyone. So let us know what you think down below in the comments of this. Again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, uh, Driftways, for sending this in. Really, really enjoyed that. With that all said and done, everybody, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on this video as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.